I was gonna do my makeup in a Tammy Faye kind of way, but I just couldn't do it justice. So you just have plain old boring me. Hey everyone, this is David Starr from Watcher Pass, and I'm here to talk to you about The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which comes to theaters on September 17, 2021. So it's already in theaters, uh, but I saw it a little late, so uh, the, the, there's a little bit of a delayed review, but uh, you know, spoiler alert, it's pretty good. I, I really liked the film, actually. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the film, uh, three things I liked, one thing I didn't love, but not, you know, wasn't that big of a deal, uh, and then just, just talk a little bit about uh, my thoughts on the film. So uh, if you don't want to know anything about the movie, you can, you, there will there won't be many spoilers. I'm not going to make this a spoiler type of uh, review, but there might be some. So if you don't want to know anything about the film, uh, then go ahead and, and turn this off and, and go watch the movie. It's in theaters right now. Uh, but if you want to know more or, you, you know, don't care because it's based on a real person. So the, you know, a lot of the spoilers are things that happened in real life already. Uh, then let's, let's keep talking. So the eyes of Tammy Faye, uh, it chronicles both, uh, you know, Tammy Faye Baker and Jim Baker. Uh, they were evangelists in the seventies and eighties. And, and they had this kind of meteoric rise when they created this televangelist network. Um, and then they had a, a fall when some of the improprieties of the network came to light. Uh, and so this this film focuses on you know the early time and then this meteoric rise and then the fall, uh, but it does it through kind of Tammy Faye. Tammy Faye was uh, the the wife in this situation. Uh, she is a very interesting, very unique personality, and uh, so the film focuses on her. and And Jessica Chastain plays Tammy Faye, and she does an amazing job. Like she is transformative, and so is Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield plays Jim Baker, and he is also transformative. and And so this this film, it focuses on them, but there there are some things I didn't actually quite expect uh, in this movie. I thought it would be kind of an irreverent type of film, but. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. And, you know, I guess let's, let's start talking. Uh, so the first thing I really, really love is just the transformation. And I'm talking about the transformation of Jessica Chastain into Tammy Faye Baker and uh, Andrew Garfield into Jim Baker. Like they are almost unrecognizable at times. Uh, you know, just Jessica Chastain just fully kind of embraces Tammy Faye's personality, her character, her quirks, her makeup style. Um, and she just, it's, it's so interesting to see because she has, she has this character kind of all the way down. And at the, at the end of the movie, they do show some, you know, clips of them side by side with some of the things they're saying. And it is, it is amazing how similar their mannerisms are. And there's sometimes, and you can always tell it's Jessica Chastain because she, you know, she's a very recognizable person, but she completely in, like embodies Tammy Faye in some instances from the way she sings or her mannerisms or her, you know, bubbly positive personality, despite what's going on and her ability to kind of like, compartmentalize things and and conveniently not look at certain things to kind of keep her happy uh life around it's it's a very amazing performance and she she's also met uh you know next to her by andrew garfield as jim baker who does another amazing performance like he andrew garfield as jim baker is also quite good like it might even be better than jessica Ch chastain because he also just completely transforms into this kind of like overly positive like strangely happy uh person who just together they form a very interesting pair and they form a lot of you know the, the main crux of this film is, is their relationship and, and also kind of how they're they live their lives and so i think you know credit to them they, they kind of make this such an interesting film to watch uh the second thing i really love is the style and i think the style is is kind of keyed into Tammy Faye Baker's overall personality. It's a very positive kind of optimistic view of the world. Uh, and that seems to be how this film uh, is filmed. So I originally wrote this as like the music and the energy. And it has like some very positive gospel kinds of music that really helps to frame this film. Like it, it becomes part of a style having this type of gospel music in the background. And then partway through, Tammy Faye starts singing them. And so you have these sequences where Tammy Faye will be singing when things happen. And it's a really striking way to tell the story. And you get kind of seeped in her overly positive uh, personality and her over po overly positive messages. I thought it was a really interesting way to tell the story. Uh, and then also the film has this kind of upbeat energy. And I, at first I thought this would be kind of like an irreverent, sarcastic type of film, but I don't think it's, I don't think it is. I think it's just a film that is 
in the style of Tammy Faye. You know, you could think of the eyes of Tammy Faye. I think when, when I thought originally, it was, you know, she has very distinct eyes because she has such thick makeup that she wears and, and her look is a very uh, unique look. But I think this film also is through the eyes of Tammy Faye. And that means that some of how the film was made is in her kind of positive, happy vibe. And, you know, so like the film has a lot of very bright colors, a lot of very bright primary colors. Some of the shots are a little bit, you know, they seem brightened or overexposed to make it seem like an overly happy place, even when things aren't going well, because there are some things in her life that aren't going well, but the still, film still has this kind of generally positive feel to it. And I, I really like that. It made it kind of unique and also made you you know sympathize with with her and her predicament and some of the things that she was trying to do uh, and also make you know the, 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 she was not completely innocent in this but she comes off as a very you know she comes off as the most kind of understanding and most positive character in this kind of film um and the last thing i really liked is that you know this kind of relates this film didn't really feel judgmental i thought this film was going to be more of a like irreverent sarcastic look at uh televangelists and and the christian you know the the, the baptist christian tradition uh but i didn't i didn't get that and maybe that's just kind of how i watched it i wonder if other people who are watching this might take a different message i didn't get that from this i mean the film had a very interesting way to depict kind of the the christian evangelist uh players and and i you know it kind of did it in an almost mafia kind of way which i thought was was fun you know they they met at this like large house and you had you know people introducing themselves and it felt like a, a mafia meeting because they then you know all the, the men went and, got, and spoke in the corner eating eating the meal and all the women kind of gathered somewhere else it really felt like what you would expect in a mob boss so it did have that but but i think you know it also focused a lot on Tammy Faye herself and kind of her own firecracker nature and the way that she would preach to people that I think were traditionally uh, shunned by the the evangelist and the Christian right. And I thought that I really appreciated that part of it. I thought I liked that they kind of focused on that. But there's one scene where she's interviewing uh, this gay man who I think he got HIV. Uh, but he was still kind of a devout Christian. And I think he eventually started like a, a, Christ, a gay uh, Christian organization. Um, and I think and, and it's kind of evident in the reaction by some people. Like, I think a lot of people wouldn't have appreciated that on the right at that point, and, and probably now, actually, to be honest. Um, but she, you know, just kind of spoke to him as a person and, and spoke to him, you know, as someone who was genuinely interested in his predicament and his and what happened to him and his story uh and i think even though it probably didn't make financial sense because i assume that there were a lot of angry people that called after that she seemed to kind of embody this idea of of loving everyone and and loving kind of and preaching without being judgmental now that doesn't mean that she didn't do something you know i, th I think I, I didn't i don't know for certain but it feels like she either compartmentalized some of the things that they were spending money on, or she just, you know, maybe cared about money and preaching because they did some shady things with, with their books. Um, but overall, I feel like this film could have been a lot more negative to the Christian right and, and or at least to, to Christians in general. And, and that's not to say that the film doesn't talk about different christian evangelists doing weird things but it doesn't come off as an overly negative film and it doesn't come off as overly negative towards tammy faye which i, I very much appreciate it does feel like she was a unique personality and she had some flaws but she also did some very wonderful you know momentous things and i think that that was interesting and, and I, I do like that she was kind of someone who was reaching out and trying to build bridges in a time when uh, a lot of the evangelists in this in this film they're depicted we're not trying to build bridges they were trying to kind of consolidate power and trying to you know play the political game and figure out who they were going to give their support to and Tam it seems like tammy Faye, even though she was a player in this time she wasn't focused on that it seemed like she was focused on she wasn't focused on on the politics and the power and things like that she was focused on uh more what an evangelist should be focused on
uh one thing i didn't really love it and the film doesn't you know like i said the film does touch on some negative aspects uh but i feel like it could have been a little more critical about jim baker there were some there's a lot that was hinted and a few things that were specifically mentioned but you, you don't end the film really knowing kind of the extent of what jim baker did and the extent of what jim baker you know the the hypocrisy of jim baker um and so i i wish that the film had done a little bit more about that uh that kind of that stuff kind of interests me uh as well but you know i think again when when i'm thinking about this film i think it is kind of through the eyes of tammy faye and so i could totally see tammy faye putting a kind of positive spin on a lot of the flaws of jim baker and so i could see you know even though it it doesn't shy away from hurting her i could see it, you know the her personally not wanting to bring that to light and so the film might not have so uh that was really the only negative thing i i, I actually really enjoyed this i enjoyed it a lot more than i thought i would i thought that, that this was going to be a difficult review to record but i you know i actually really liked it so that's uh the eyes of tammy faye it's in theaters on september 17th 2021 um and thanks so much for watching if you liked this review please like and subscribe to this channel it helps me out a lot make sure all my new content goes straight to you thank you <music>